Praise the Lord, my sisters and brothers. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, and this is the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with God. Yes, this is now the Prayer Connection, where you make a connection with heaven. Now, this show is designed to build you up, to strengthen you, and to encourage you to go into another level in your prayer life. Yes, it's designed by God to catapult you and to launch you forward and to another level in your prayer life. And we know that it's all done by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Oh God, we give you praise. Oh, Father God, we give you glory, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy name today, God. We magnify your name, Father God. We praise your holy name. You are worthy of praise, oh God. Hallelujah. We bless you. We praise you. We honor you, God. We thank you, Lord God, for another day of life. In the name of Jesus, a thousand has fallen our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but you didn't let it come near us. Only with our eyes will we behold and see the reward of the wicked. Only with our eyes we that we behold and see the reward, even of the innocent. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you praise. Father God, a thousand might fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it will not come nigh us. God, I thank you. We thank you, Lord God, that you, have, you are keeping us in this pandemic. You are keeping us because you are a keeper, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You said, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh God, we worship you. We praise you. Be honor your presence, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, bless you today, God. We thank you, Lord God, for the forgiveness of sin. You said that we confess our sins, Father God, that you will be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Father God, here we come. We say, God, forgive us of our sins. Wash us, purge us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, what? can wash away our sins nothing but the blood of jesus what can make us whole again nothing but the blood of jesus hallelujah it's the blood that cleanses it's the blood that washes it's the blood that purifies it's the blood it's the blood it's the blood of jesus and god we thank you today that you have thrown our sins in the sea of forgiveness and we and you remember it no more you have thrown our sins in the sea of forgiveness and you remember it no more, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we worship you. We thank you, Lord God. There was therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation in the name of Jesus. We're not guilty today. We're not guilty today, God. We're not guilty today. You're not guilty today. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what sin, what transgression, what iniquity. If you ask God to forgive you of your sins, right now, he's cleansing you. Right now, he's washing you. Right now, he's doing it right now. He's cleansing you and washing you with his precious blood. And he remembers it no more. He's omniscient. So he's all knowing. He knows everything. But he just chooses to forget. Once you ask God to forgive you and you are forgiven, he just chooses to forget. He says, I throw your sins in the sea of forgiveness and I'll remember it no more. So we're not condemned. We're not guilty. You can go boldly to the throne of grace today. Don't let your sins hinder you from going to God. Don't let your sins be a stumbling block to you. Don't let your transgressions and iniquities be a stumbling block. To you, you go boldly to the throne of grace. You go boldly to your father. Not in your own might, not in your own righteousness. But we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You're the head and not the tail and on top and not the bottom. You're forgiven. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are a son of God, a daughter of God, a child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God bless you. He loves you today. He loves you with an everlasting love. You are the apple of his eye today. Oh, yes, you are you the apple of his eye. He gave a son for you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him will not perish, 
with every everlasting life. Eternal life is yours today if you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. He loves you. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. You're loved. You are his beloved today. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Amen. And amen. Well, today, you know what we do here on the Prayer Connection. We get a scripture from God. We pray that scripture through by the Holy Spirit. He leads us and guides us into all truth. He leads us in our prayer. He's the great intercessor. Always remember that the Holy Spirit is the great intercessor. And if you join up with him, link up with him, you will pray effectively and fervently and accurately in the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our scripture for today is located 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 and 7. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 and 7. Ready? Let's read. It says, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time. Humble yourself. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exhort you in due time, casting all your care upon him. Casting all your care upon him. Casting all your care upon him. For he careth for you. God wants us to cast all our care upon him. For he careth for you. Be anxious for nothing. But by everything, by prayer and supplication. Whatever you worry about today. Jesus is talking to you. Whatever you worried about today. Whatever you're anxious about today, whatever is on your mind today, whatever has plagued you today and concerned you today, God says, cast all your care upon him because he cares for you. Cast all your care upon him because he careth for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. So today we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to go to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. He said, come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and grace to help in a time of need. Casting all our care upon the Lord. Casting all our care upon the Lord. God wants you to cast all your care upon him. All your worries upon him all your concerns about life upon him because he cares for you if you talk to God and you ask God to touch those situations he's able and he's willing because the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man righteous woman righteous ch child avails much in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you know what your people need today, Father. You know what's going on in their minds, going on in their hearts, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, somebody's really worried about this pandemic. They worried, God. They're anxious and worried about the pandemic. They're in fear today. But if that's you, if you are in a state of worry, a state of anxiety, a state of deep, deep, overly concerned situation or fearful situation God saying today he sent me to pray for you so father God in the name of Jesus I'm praying for that one God that's worried today God we take authority over the spirit of fear you have not given your people the spirit of fear but the spirit of power love and a sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus you said fear not because I'm with you God says be not afraid because I'm your God Yea, I'll be with you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Fear not because I am with you. God is saying today, don't fear about the pandemic. Don't fear about this. Don't fear. Don't get in a state of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I take authority right now over the spirit of fear. You will not plague that woman no more. You will not plague that young man no more. 
You will not plague that child no more. We rebuke you, Satan. We rebuke the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. We take authority in the name of Jesus. Whatever we bound on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. God is with you in the name of Jesus. You dwell in the secret place of the Most High God, and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. Like I said earlier, a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it's not going to come near you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. Don't fear. Be bind the spirit of fear. God is preserving your coming in and your going out in the name of Jesus. He's preserving your soul. He's preserving your, preserving your soul from this time forth, even forevermore. In the name, God's going to take you through this pandemic. He's going to take you through it. You'll go through the water, but you won't drown. You go through the fire, and you will not be burned. I decree and declare we come not unscathed, unharmed in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us will prosper. No weapon formed against you will prosper. No weapon formed against your children will prosper. No Weapon for me to get your family will prosper in the name of Jesus. Quit worrying about your elderly mother. Quit worrying about your elderly father. Keep quit worrying about your grandmother. And those are God. Says, I got them. God says, I was satisfied them with long life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's a keeper today. He's gonna keep you through this pandemic in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your household. I put the blood of Jesus over your family, the blood of Jesus over your sons and daughters, the blood of Jesus over your nephews and nieces, the blood of Jesus over your cousins, the blood of Jesus over your husband and wife, the blood of Jesus over your little ones, the blood of Jesus over your cousins, the blood of Jesus over your uncles and aunties, your blood of Jesus over your household, the blood of Jesus is over you right now. The blood of Jesus is over you right now. The blood of Jesus over you right now. So when they destroy you, when they come in to destroy your house, it has to pass over. Jesus, the Bible says, if we ple ple apply the blood, if we apply the blood over the doorposts and the lintel over our homes, over our cars, over our livelihood, over our children, over our families, that when they destroy you, when they come in and when they creep into your homes, it cannot, I will not even allow the destroyer to come in to destroy you. It will just pass over. This thing is passing over, saints. The pandemic is pa it's gonna pa it's passing over us in the mighty name of Jesus. It's passing over. I know, I know it's not Passover season yet. It's coming, but it's not here yet in the natural. But in the spirit realm, it's Passover season. It's passing over you. It's passing over you, over your loved one. It's passing over you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, I'm speaking to someone by the spirit of the living God. He said, you know what? I've lost loved ones in this pandemic. I've lost them already. I've lost loved ones in this pandemic. And God is saying, yay. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. Because God says, I'm with you. Yay. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. God says, I got you. I know you're crying. I know you're sad. I know you're crying out to God, saying, God, why my family member? Why my loved one had to die in this pandemic? Why, God, why? And I don't know all the answers to all the questions. But I know one thing, that God is with you. He's Emmanuel, the God that's with us. Emmanuel, that name of Jesus means a God that's with us. He's going to be with you through it all. Right now, we pray that the Comforter will comfort everyone that's lost a loved one in this pandemic. Those that are listening, those that is in our city, in our state, in our country, in this whole globe. Massive loss, massive death. But God is saying today, yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. God said, I got you. 
I believe in the name of Jesus that before a man, a woman, or boy or girl faces death, God says, I gave them the chance to receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. I gave them a chance, not just one chance, not just two, not just three, multiple, multiple, multitude, multitude, multiple, multiple, multiple times. They had a chance to receive Jesus. And many of them cried out to the Lord. They cried out on their deathbed. Saying, what must I do to be saved? God says, don't fear, don't worry. God says, peace be still to you. Peace be still. I pray peace for you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Peace be still. Be still and know that God is God. If you keep your mind stayed on Jesus, he will keep you in perfect peace. He is the Prince of Peace today to you that have lost loved ones. And I thank you for the Holy Spirit. He's your comforter. Father God, we pray that the comforter would do what he do best. His name, one of his names is comforter. Comfort them right now, God. Dry the tears from their eyes, Father God. Hold them in your arms, God. Cradle them in the night season when they're hurting, God. Pour in the oil and the wine. Pour. He's pouring in the oil and the wine in the heart to soothe your heart, to comfort you in this time of loss. God loves you and he loved your loved one that passed on. He cares for you. The scripture says in 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7, humble yourself. Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, because he careth for you. Casting all your cares upon him, because he careth for you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Peace. In the name of Jesus. Peace, peace. To the storm that you're in right now. Peace, peace. To the hurricane that you're in right now. Peace, peace. To the Tasami that you're in right now. Peace, peace. In Jesus' name. We speak light to the darkness. Any dark situation in your life. Right now, once darkness, it could be in your life that I'm sensing right now. Somebody's listening. It's the finances. You say, God, this pandemic has robbed me. The Satan comes and kills still into the story. But I'm seeing it easy today. You serve the God of the turnaround. He's going to turn this thing around for you. I believe God's going to open up the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive. And he will rebuke the devour you for your sake. Every, everyone that's a giver. Everyone that's a tither. But even in that, God is merciful. He feeds the birds. And they don't pay tabs. He feeds the birds. Hallelujah. He Come on now. He feeds the birds. He clothes the lilies of the field. He loves you. I believe there's a divine protection. A divine uh, covering over those that pay tabs and give offerings. Because in Malachi 3 tells us that that if you give your tithes and you bring all the tithes to the storehouse that he will open up the windows of heaven to pour you out a blessing that you have not room enough to receive but even in that even if you're not a tither and i come and i admonish you to be a tither but if you're not in this time until you move into that next level because i believe you're going to move into that next level you're going to move into the level and that realm of super abundance that tithers get but even if you're not if you haven't even reached there yet, God is still good. He's merciful. Even when you're not faithful, the Bible says, I remain faithful. I cannot deny myself. Even when you do not, you are not faithful, God remains faithful. He cannot deny himself. Even when you're not faithful, he's still a merciful savior. Even if you're not, you're, you're not faithful, God still will provide for you. Like you got children, like for instance, in the natural, you got children. They might do some crazy stuff, always in trouble, always got to bail them out, always doing something disobedient, just doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You don't, you don't quit loving them, do you? You don't quit loving your children because they're into some trouble. 
You don't quit loving your children because they're in some situations and circumstances they put themselves in. You still love them. And so God still loves you. So you don't have to be perfect to receive God's love. You don't have to be perfect to receive God's provision in the pandemic. You don't got to be perfect. You don't have to cross every T and dot every I for God to make sure you got food on the table for your children. He careth for you. Cast all your cares upon the Lord. He careth for you in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, right now, I, I decree and declare there's a supernatural blessing coming some people's way. Father God, I thank you, Lord God. They don't have to worry about their life, what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink, or what they're going to put on. It's not the life more than meat and the and the and the life more than meat and the life more than raiment. You said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Father God, I thank you for taking care of them because you care for them in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that the Lord will make us rich and out of no sorrow in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cast your cares upon him today about your finances. He said the silver is mine and the gold is mine in the name of Jesus. And I divine, pray right now, divine provision hitting homes in Jesus' name. Divine provision is hitting your house today. Divine provision in this season. God said, I will, I will replenish you and not diminish you. The devil comes to diminish, God's come to replenish. He's replenishing your bank account. He's replenishing your storehouses. He was replenishing your cupboards. He's replenishing, hallelujah, your checkers account, your savings account. He's replenished you right now. Have faith in God. God cares for the lilies of the field and he cares for you. He cares, he careth for you. I never saw a, dead, a whole bunch of dead birds laying on the ground all over the country. Because God always feeds it. He don't let them die. And you're not going to die in this pandemic. You're not going to starve in this pandemic. You're, you're not. God's, not, God's keep. He's a keeper. Hallelujah. He cares for you. So God, we thank you for divine provision. You said a cattle upon a thousand hills is yours. And if a cattle upon a thousand hills is yours, you will give some of that cattle and some of that beef to your people. He's divine provision. In the name of Jesus, he withhold no good thing to those who walk uprightly. In the mighty name of Jesus, God careth for you. Cast all your cares upon him because he careth for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I decree and declare, Lord God, those that have lost jobs, we decree and declare they're coming back. That what the enemy meant for their evil, God's turned it around for their good. In the name of Jesus, there's a divine turnaround coming your way. I decree it and declare it in the mighty name of Jesus under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that there's a divine turnaround coming your way. That what the enemy meant for you, if you're going to turn that thing around for your good. In the name of Jesus, he's working all things together for your good because you love him. You're called according to his purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree it and declare it. The Bible says decree a thing and so shall it be done unto you. The Bible says call those things that be not as though they were. So we're calling it. Like you see it, God. Not like I see it. Not like it is in the natural. We call it like the Bible sees it. We call it like what Jesus sees it. We call it like, calling it like God sees it. In the name of Jesus. And that what the enemy meant for you evil, he's turned it around for your good. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree that thing. Divine provision coming your way. Jobs coming back. Provision. God says, a man don't work, he don't eat. That's what he says. If you don't work, you don't eat. A man don't work, he don't eat. So you need to work. Because God want to keep that promise that a man, if a man work, he, he'll eat. And the hand of the diligent will make it rich. And Adam, no, with the hand of the diligent make it rich. A slack hand becomes poor, but a diligent hand becomes rich. The Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. There's always divine provision for his children. Yes, it is. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you. And those right now that are suffering from sickness and disease, lay your hand on that body part. If it's your head, lay hands on your head. If it's your heart, if it's your thyroid, if it's your appendix, if it's your liver, whatever it is right now, be praying for the sick. You say, Lord God, they call for the elders of the church and they'll pray, pray for them. To call, if any man sick among you, call for the elders of the church and they will pray for them. And they've committed any sins, they'll be forgiven. And God will raise them up. 
I decree and declare you being raised up out of your sick bed. I don't know what it is. Is it, is it COVID? Is it the virus? Is it sugar diabetes, heart ailments, arthritis? cancer in the name of jesus god said, i'm taking it off for you today my anointing is taking it off of you today the anointing is the burden removing yoke destroying power of god the anointing is the burden removing yoke destroying power of god the anointing the anointing the anointing the anointing the anointing, the anointing is a burden removing burden destroying power of god that what the enemy trying to put on you the anointing is taking it off of you the burden removing Yoke destroying power of God. That's the, the anointing. And whatever the enemy going to put on you today, I don't care what the name is of the disease or the sickness, the anointing is taken off of you. If it's cancer, the, the cancer removing, cancer destroying power of God. Is a heart failure? Is a heart failure removing, heart failure destroying power of God. That's the anointing. And your body's been anointed today for healing. By your stripes, he is healed by his stripes you are healed he's removing the burden destroying the yoke removing the sickness and destroying the sickness he's removing the disease and destroying the disease eat for you you and your family you and your household you and your friends and family, you and your church members right now in the mighty name of jesus divine health be unto you in the mighty name of jesus jesus took your infirmity bore your sickness and diseases and with his stripes you are healed today he sent his word and he healed them in Jesus' name. So I send a word to you right now that's hitting your body right now. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And God wants his temple to be whole and to be healed. To be whole and to be healed. Healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. He's raising you up. And I decree and declare a spirit of recovery. No matter what the name of the disease, at the name of Jesus, every knee bows, every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you. You've heard us when we, we heard us today when we prayed. We've casted our cares upon you today because you care for us. And we came boldly to the throne of grace, being anxious for nothing, casting all our cares, all our burdens on you. And so we know, God, you care for us and you send in the answer. Because now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence. You don't got to wait to see it with your eyes. You already got your evidence. Your faith is your evidence. Your faith is your evidence. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. You already got your evidence. You're not waiting for the doctor's report. You already got your evidence. Faith is your evidence. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence. Things not seen. You got your evidence that your prayer was answered today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Father. You always hear us when we pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, those of you that don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you have the biggest care that a person can have. You have the care of your sin. So come on, let me lead you. I know you've been waiting for this time to come to Jesus. Come on, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Save me and I will be saved. Cleanse me and I will be cleansed. You said in your word. If I confess in my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. With my mouth, I just confess it. And with my heart, I believe it. If you prayed that simple prayer, God said you were a child of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. You are heaven bound. God is your father. The body of Christ is yours the kingdom of heaven is yours everything that you need that heaven has is yours on earth as it is in heaven three things you need to do get a good bible get a good bible and read that bible study to show yourself approved workmen that needed not to be ashamed read your word pray and talk to god talk to god every day and ask god to lead you to a good church home that they're teaching the word of god in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do that and you will be successful as a Christian. And you'll grow more and more in your walk with the Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I'll see you next time. 
on the prayer connection where you make a connection with God. I'll see you next time on the prayer connection where you make a connection with heaven. I'm your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice. I love you. And most of all, our God loves you. Be blessed, be well, and go forth in the things of God. Till next time. Bye-bye.